Peter Fenn here. I'm at the Avnet booth at the Embedded Vision Summit and we have a couple of new things to show you here. This is the Qualcomm QCS 6490 based Vision AI development kit. It's a product that uses a smart compute module and it's released already but inventory is around Q3 this year. What we're actually showing is the type of application you can run on this board. We're actually running it on an EVK right now. So we're using the Qualcomm EVK which is based on the same device and we're running a AI fusion application where we have four different inference applications here using two different cameras. So I'm using two identical Sony IMX 577 cameras and on the left side we're running pose detection depending on how far away it'll pick up my image as well and we're also doing segmentation. So that's the camera on the left hand side doing two types of AI inference on the right hand side we're using the other camera and we're doing object classification at the top here and object detection at the bottom. So depending on what we put in front of it, it's seeing a mouse right now because it's in the frame but we can bring in other articles. The point here is we're running all four of these inference applications at the same time on the processor with two different cameras and it's not limited to that. We can actually support up to four cameras on this development kit that we have coming out and the number of AI inference streams isn't limited to, to what we're showing on the screen. The Qualcomm QCS 6490 that's on this board actually has some really remarkable features. It has a very capable ISP for the four different cameras, uh, so you can really move a lot of data through that um, front-end ISP unit. It also has an acceleration unit, so you have three different ways of processing AI. You can use the CPU, you can use the GPU, and then you can use the NPU which is on its own will provide 12 tops of acceleration. So very capable AI building block, the compute module you can integrate into your end product and take on those challenging AI tasks. These compute modules are from a catalog that is pretty comprehensive, various different form factors, both SMARC and also sort of legacy Intel AMD type of form factors. We also have the OSM form factor, which is becoming popular now, which is a solder down module but uh, many different options from Avnet Embedded. So it could support four cameras. It'll also support two different types of displays. So we have HDMI in this case. We're running an HDMI screen. It'll also support a MIPI DSi display. Also, if you look at the board, you have the different MIPI CSI connectors. We have a bunch of USB and other interfaces on the front here. On the back, we have M.2 slots. I have one slot filled here with a NVMe a storage drive. Um, it could be a halo um, acceleration unit, it doesn't have to be NVMe, but that gives you additional expansion capability. We also have another slot which is typically for an add-on wireless module. So two different um, M.2 slots and then we also have Raspberry Pi 40 pin header on here if you want to bring in some other uh, add-on cards from the ecosystem. It's a very powerful part and a very um, versatile building block for, for any developer.